Welcome to the Morning Star Series Three Stock Picks. I'm Holly Black. With me is Ben Peters. He's manager of the Evenload Global Income Fund. Hello. Hello. So, talking about three stocks in the portfolio that you're excited about at the moment. Yeah. Where should we start? Uh, let's start with uh, Essilor Luxottica. A, a bit of a mouthful. I'll shorten it to Essilor. But it was actually formed by the merger of a French company, Essilor, which makes lenses for uh, glasses, uh, with an Italian company, Luxottica, which is the global market leader in in eyewear frames and particularly sunglasses. So brand like Ray-Ban, uh, Persol and Oakley if you're into sports. Um, so two market leaders in what they were doing in slightly different parts of eyewear and bringing those companies together has been an interesting development um, in the last uh, year or two. So what's particularly appealing about that company for an income investor? Well, both companies uh, before they merged uh, were dominant in, in their in their niche, and that's led to uh, very attractive cash flow characteristics, which back a, a dividend that can grow through time. By bringing the companies together, they can have efficiencies in their operations, in sourcing, and that sort of stuff. Uh, but also, they can have efficiency in their sales. So, uh, previously, about 30% of Luxottica's frames would take prescription lenses from from Essilor. They want to. Uh, increase that pr proportion to 60% to give more uh, choice to the consumer and be able to sell through different channels like uh, opticians and uh, sort of Sunglass Hut, which uh, looks out of their own. And I guess having these brands like Ray-Ban and Oakley, that sort of makes this less cyclical because they are staples for anyone looking for good eyewear. Uh, yes, and they are in that sort of little luxury. They're not the cheapest uh, thing you might buy, um, but they're certainly not uh, in the class of, say, buying a car. So you can have that nice feeling of, uh, of, of buying something that is of high quality, has that brand that you, you, you know and you trust, um, but doesn't sort of break the bank. Super. What's stock number two? So the second stock I'd like to talk about uh, is a German uh, industrial and, and consumer company called Henkel. Um, about 20% of the business is in uh, beauty, and particularly in hair care, with Schwarzkopf um, uh, hair products. About a third of the business uh, is in um, detergents, so uh, like Persil, they're in the Persil brand. And about half of the business is in glue, adhesives. Um, and <laughs> that does not seem to fit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a slightly odd combination, but the, the consumer parts act as a sort of uh, relatively uncyclical um, source of cash flows. And the adhesives part, well, it does have consumer brands like Loctite and uh, Pritt Stick, which um, we'll be familiar with from oh, okay, our, our childhood. Yeah, fair. Yeah, um, but actually, most of that business is in industrial adhesives. So for um, uh, applications like in automotive or like in uh, creating strengthened wood for construction and that sort of thing. And those, those applications, the, the glue gets very uh, highly specified and designed into the application itself. So that gives uh, the company a, a good deal of traction with, it, with its customers and good long-term relationships with its customers. This is where we make a pun about a sticky customer base. <laughs> I, I resisted the urge. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'm going to move straight on to stock three to stop embarrassing myself. <laughs> um, yeah, stock three is a, a, it's another German company, actually, uh, called Fuchs Petrolube. Now, it, it's a speciality uh, maker of lubricants. Um, it's it, a bit like Henkel's um, adhesives business. The, these lubricants get very highly specified into the end application. So as you might imagine, it's uh, got big applications in the automotive industry, uh, but it's also uh, seen in general industrial and, uh, and other applications where you need uh, things like uh, high efficiency, uh, heat dissipation, and that sort of thing. So it's, a, it's in a very nice space because on the one hand, it's, it's quite a big company, but it competes with the oil majors, but they're not, they're not really focused on lubricants. Uh, and on the other hand, its smaller competitors are quite fragmented, so they don't perhaps have the scale that Fuchs Petrolube have to, to service its larger customers. So it's in quite a nice position. You seem to have quite a lot of Europe in the portfolio, and it's not that popular a region at the moment. Mm, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a, a region of two halves, I would say. Um, there are those companies which are very, very highly liked in the market and look, and look a bit expensive to us, but actually there are other companies which, for company-specific reasons, um, trade at, at lower prices, and we, we can find a, a room for those in the portfolio. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And thanks for joining us.